I don't I don't want her in this. You, okay, this is the one where we're being nice to each other. You're already I don't think you're nice to your cat. That's me. That's that's like that's like a part of me. That's not This how is a part of me. I don't want her in this. <laughs> Cuz we're fighting right now. <laughs> Look at her. Look at our little angel. Mm-mm. Yeah. <laughs> Run, Mary. Um, okay, so we usually do a intro and then we get into the topic. So do we want to start our thing after our little intro? Yeah, that makes sense. And get it out of our system? And I wouldn't say it's the intro. It's just more like the introduction to the episode. Oh, my God. <laughs> Why would you say that? <laughs> so just guys know, after the break, Monet and I are going to, we cannot be, we can't, we can't be mean at all. Yeah. We have to be nice. Yeah. Um, which I think we can do. Yeah, we can. We've done. When? Bitch, when? Well, I, I okay, let me speak for me. I've done. When? I, I reiterate. Oftentimes. Bob, when were we I, I genuinely often come to you in a nice, pos- with a nice positive disposition. You push me. So what's your part in this? I, in, in, in terms of niceness, isn't there, I don't, I, is he, what's your part in your attitude? Like when you're mean, what's your part? When I've had enough. So, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like Jennifer Lopez in that movie. Enough. So you think it's just me, it's just me being wild and you just reacting to me and you just a uh, innocent bystander. The majority of the time, Living yes. in the crazy world of Bob the Dragon. The majority way. of the time, absolutely. And this is where I would say that feels like your truth. <laughs> <laughs> because that's subjective. Uh-huh. I think, when were we our, when were we our absolute worst? Like the meanest we've been to each other. The thing is, some, the thing is, is we weren't mean. We were just arguing. But, like, but, but mean. I don't think we've. Uh, I don't know when. We, when have we been like mean to each other? Like gravity ball fight. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was you. No. That was overwhelmingly you. I mean, that's too. You see, no. The, factually, the fans are like, everyone's like, damn, Bob, what's wrong with you? Why are you going in on Monet like I mean, that? I don't feel like that was... Jacob. I, Jacob. Jacob I mean, I was that, that not... Sibling watchery, legendary. And I'm going to go to the Patreon. The one with gravity. Here it is. Where? So the comments are saying stuff like, um, Bob is going to be pissed <laughs> with the latest episode, going to be gag worthy. Oh, that was because Tisha got eliminated. Can someone have some... Okay, Gravity was so quiet while they were talking about Tishi going home. Um, Gravity... No, okay, this is everyone talking about Tishi going home. Oh, Bring God. some from Tishi. I can't talk about Gravity. looks like a snack. Um, um, every... Okay, I see you, Monet. Every episode, Monet is, is like Deshaun can be... Okay, wow. Gravity is giving me extreme middle vibe. Yeah, no one is saying this, Monet. So I'm, I'm really looking. Jacob. Girl, Bob is painted. I wonder why Bob is going to release the Jamila isn't wearing... Bob, your mug is perfect. Is... Gravity telling. I can't tell your whole week was. You need to see. Oh, here we go. I can't even. Some, spoiler alert. Bob said. If, I'm going to find it. If y'all, just, you gonna, you would say everyone was going wild. I just got to the Patreon. When when Monet's speaking, watch Bob. He's just waiting to pounce on Monet. If she <laughs> makes a mistake. And by, and vice versa. <laughs> let, me, let me finish the whole thing. And vice versa. Gravity's so fine. Bob literally looks like a doll. I can't wait for the next episode. Gravity so cute. Bob is painted for the gods. Um, yeah. So it's specifically the one about driving. You think driving is the one where, where we're... So, I mean... About driving is wild. Is I, it? Do we get wild in that one? All I can say is that I don't think everyone's... I mean, I, I've, I've just been reading basically every single uh, one I'm seeing. Oh, my God. The queens are fighting... The one about driving, you spend uh, like half an hour arguing over whether or not you can get you, you get you get arrested right at the courthouse. And, you <laughs> and, and, and we found out that in some states you can get arrested. And, at the and what I was saying was, guys, look at your state laws and then make a conscious and smart decision for you. You were like Monet, no, everyone and every. I was like, guys, look up the laws in your state. That's all I was saying. You were just that added literally. It. You didn't say anything else. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> just like now, you said everyone. I've been reading every comment. Will you say so? Will everyone. You, will you acknowledge your part in the driving episode? How how mean and nasty you were being? I think that I was speaking from a traumatic experience <laughs> where I was almost arrested, and I was trying to help protect people and say, just bring the money. I was saying, no matter what, just bring your method of payment in. Don't. What I was saying was, don't chance it. Don't risk it. 
bring your method of payment into the courtroom. And it's like, and maybe- my thing was that some people do not have the money to. So instead of getting a warrant issue for your arrest because you're following Bob's advice and not going to, uh, and because you, I didn't say don't go to court. Because you don't have the money. Not, wait, wait, what are you thinking I said? What are you thinking I said? You were saying that when you go to, to the courthouse, bring your money with you. So, so what is your resolve if you don't, if you don't have the money? That's not my, that's not, okay, it's not up to me. Okay, what but I'm saying, do. so, so, but you, so you're telling, go now, with the money. If you don't you have are. money, what do you do? And you ask the judge what they're going to do. If you don't exactly. have the money, don't go. But I was saying, if, I was saying, if you have the money, Go in with them. Do not leave your method of payment in the car because there are some places, uh, Columbus, Georgia being one of them, where you cannot go to your car and they will arrest the fuck out of you. And so, what I was saying what I was, was, was just saying, look up the law, period. Sure, look up the law, sure. And you were like, no, just go with the money. Don't risk it. But look up the law. Sure, but also don't risk it. But look up the law. Again, Sure. But don't risk it. Do not risk it. Just go look up the law and bring your money. So I'm correct. I did not say that. Look up. So you. So you're saying not. So you're advocating to not look up the law. I did not say that either. So you I'm, are. I'm correct. You are fabricating. So things. I'm correct. I also didn't say that. What I so said what am was I? bring your bitch. What I was saying <laughs> is bring your money into the courtroom because some talk, sometimes the law does not bend in your favor. Sometimes the cops don't know the laws. Sometimes the judges don't know all the this laws. This is true. But and then they will this, that, and the other. Sometimes they can throw you in jail just because they felt like it. And then if you don't have the money, my point was look up the law before and so you can make it. I wasn't saying about not so. having money. You're, you're having, we're having different discussions. It's not about whether or not you have the money. If you have the money, you need to listen to episode, not, that was, that what was, I'm saying is do not leave your method of payment in the car. That That's was the crux was of saying. our argument because you were saying, Monet, but if you, but it, no, I, I wish we could listen to the episode you again. You also know in a lot of places, if you don't have the money, they'll arrest you. Like if you, you if you can't pay it in a lot of places, they'll be like, well, then if you can't pay it, then you just serve time. It's either money or time. In a lot of places, if you can't pay the ticket, they're like, then you'll just do. But time. you can get on a payment plan. That's some, big, some places. Yeah. So, and, but so again, again, you look it up in your state to see not, what the plan I'm is. I'm not saying don't look. No, no, but, but, but that's is, but that's what we're arguing right now. What, we're saying we're saying in different places what is the thing, and we we don't know because there I'm are so many is, different. No variables. matter what, if you have the money, bring it to the courtroom. And I don't know why you're advocating against that. I'm not. So you're. So I'm not advocating against that. that. So you're saying don't bring the money in. Huh? So you're saying don't bring the money in. If you can't afford it, no, no don't no, bring so it in. So you're saying don't, so you're saying if you don't have it, no. So you're saying if you have the money, don't bring it in. If you don't have it, no. See, that's what you were doing. You were if like, you don't have it, no. See, that's what you, you were going like, oh, so you said don't look up the law. I did not say that. If what you I don't have the money, green, don't go with the money. Don't go. So don't go to court. If you don't have the money, look up the law. If, if you do not have the money, don't worry about that being the, the deciding factor whether to go to court or not was what was my point. Okay, and I also did not say if you don't have money, don't go to court. I did not say that. I said, if you have the money, and I'm saying it now. If I didn't say that, I'm saying it now. Good. If you have the money, take it. Take your method of payment into the courtroom with you because you are not always oh, allowed absolutely. to go back to your car. In some places, Columbus, Georgia, 2004, they will arrest yeah, you. Yeah, so these are probably old. It's probably way different now. And, and so, you, so you're saying in Columbus, don't do it then. Don't don't bring your method of payment. That's, did I say that? So can I, did I say those words? So let me say, did I say those words? You didn't say those words. But can I? So can I have you say, if you have the method of payment, bring it to the courtroom? Can you say that? Yeah. And can no, you, no, no, say the words. No, I'm not going to say the you, words. You Why? Just, you just said you would. Well, say what? Do you want if me to you say? have the method of payment with you and you can afford it. Yes, and I the, said that. And say I, it, yes, say those and words. And I said that. Yes, if you have the method of payment, bring it with you to the courthouse. Thank you. Yes, I, and I said that last time. I don't think you did. <laughs> yes, I did. I, I don't think you did. <laughs> you are <laughs> ridiculous, Bob. I don't think I'm ridiculous. I think that I'm trying to get people to be prepared. Your truth. The justice system is not always fair. This is true. Nothing is ever fair in life. Many things are not always fair. Okay, you said two different things. Yeah, the justice system. You said nothing's ever fair. Many, I versus, mean, I mean, but, uh, but but you know, that's also very. So, oh, I have it. Old thing. She was like, "All right, I'm just gonna run in my car and grab the money." And they were like, "No, you're not." And she was like, "Yeah, I'm just gonna run in my car and and and, and get the money." And they're like, "Ma'am, you're under arrest." And she was like. Excuse me? And they were like, get your black ass over here. <laughs> you are fully 100%. And she was in jail for 30 fucking days. 
Okay, you see, that's some Georgia bullshit. Because also, Georgia is a fucked up state. Y'all, they are they over here passing new voter suppression rights. They 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 arrested I mean, that sure. representative for literally going to knock on the door because they were held because they were holding a closed meeting to change these laws. Georgia is fucked up. That's some weird Georgia shit. That's wow. Not like the, okay, first that's of all, not a federal thing. First of all, Georgia saved the nation from Trump. Let's just get that clear. Clayton County for life. And um, now they're fucking it up again. And let me just say this: Georgia has things to work on. But let me right now, y'all. If, I don't care what state you live in. When you go to court, have your method of payment on you. I don't know why Monet's like, leave the money. Who cares? It doesn't matter. I don't know the rules in every state, but I, I know this. That. You should have your money when you go into the courtroom. Do not run the risk of taking Monet's shitty advice and your ass ended up in jail. Because you like Monet said, and your defense is Monet said it on sibling rivalry. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess what I said. No, that. I'm not saying if it's like your court date and you don't have the money, and if it's if going to court and trying to speak to the judge to get some leniency, if 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 the stakes are doing that or getting a warrant issued for your arrest because you didn't show up to court and because you don't have the money, going is the better option as opposed to having a fucking warrant out for your arrest. You at your goddamn job. No, I'm not saying don't like, go. I'm saying go, bitch. but have your method of payment on you because in Georgia, at Sometimes least, you don't least, have it. You can't afford least, it. I know, and they will arrest you. That is the, that's the, there, and there, there are famous in cases Georgia. on Georgia. There, I mean, you don't know where that's the law. You don't know where these motherfuckers are listening. You don't know where these people listening to this podcast at. You tell them folks, it I'm still alright. Walk around with your stuff. We were pausing before we start talking. Walk around that way. How do you, how do you, do you work these androids? Oh. So I still say the same thing. If you have, if you, all I said was bring your method of payment with you to the courtroom. And my point was, if you, and I, and I said, and I literally said, sure, but, and I said, sure, but if you don't have the money, you should still go to court. And you said, I didn't disagree with that. And, and, you, and no, because then you literally, but you said, you said, y'all, I'm telling you, don't listen to Monet's shitty advice. That's what shitty. you said. That is not shitty advice. That's not shitty advice. Because I was, you, you're insinuating that I was saying don't go to court, which I never said. I didn't say you said that. I said sure, but y'all, if you can, if you um, don't have the money, you should still go. And you was like, y'all, I'm telling you, don't listen to one of these shitty advice. Go with the money. So we were kind of saying that there's a chance that I maybe misunderstood you in the, in the passion of my trauma. <laughs> but it wasn't even your trauma; it was your friends, and not your trauma to claim. First, okay, you don't know what my experience is. Yes. I, I told you I almost got arrested when I went to the judge, but I but what happened was the the police officer wrote down all of the wrong charges. So you have you have to write down like like failure to stop at a stop line. right, and then it goes to the code one two three. He wrote one two two. Wasn't you? But this is your friend's story. You were saying wasn't your was, story? No, you see, you didn't go back far enough because I had an experience where I went down the courthouse and I was like, I can't pay my bills because of all these things, and I, I can't pay it because I don't have the money. I literally don't have the money, and the judge was like, Well. This is your lucky day because your arresting officer or your officer who wrote the citation put down the road the wrong code mm. and he's not here to rebut it. So you just get to leave. But if you did not, he goes, just so you know, that's not how court works. You cannot just show up and go, I don't have money. Let me free. He goes, you would have been arrested. You're just cop, like an asshole. If the cop would have written down the right citation, you would have been under arrest. In Georgia State work. Well, there you have it. So... Anyway, I still stand on my point, and I just want to reiterate, if you get a citation, you go to court, if you can afford it, if you have the money, show up with your method of payment in the courtroom. Do not, I repeat, do not leave your method of payment in the car. It will not work out for you. Yes, for sure. If you have the money and you want to go to court, you should absolutely do that and pay it and don't leave it in the car. But if you don't, you should still go. And and I agree. You should, right. al you should always go to your court day. So we agree. Sure, Monet. No one's saying don't go to your court. Day. Okay, and, you no should... one, and no one is saying to leave the money in the car if you have it with you. And I'm not saying that either. So we're both we're, we're on the same page. What page you're on? <laughs> four. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what page you're on, bitch. I'm on page four. I'm right at the table of contents. I'm still looking up in page one. You know the first words of the Bible. You know the first word of the Bible? No. Are you serious? Why are you shocked by that? Because you went to church. And God you created heaven. You saying in the church, is your family religious? Yeah. I'm sure my mom. Uh, and then you grew up in the church? And then you go to a school that was like church choir, with your people? Uh, yeah. And you do not know the first words of the Bible? God created something. What that is, is it? in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Right. It's, but it's not God. It's, it's like the, the beginning of Moby Dick isn't like, uh, y'all can call me Ishmael or something. Yeah. It, it, it's, 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 you call me Ishmael. But, but anyway, I'm just gay that you don't know. Do you, that, you know the last word in the Bible? The end. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> the King James Version. Right. Amen. Oh, work. Why are you you are so weird? Sometimes you you are someone who is so anti-religion. You know so much about religion. Why do you care? Up, I grew up in religion. Same, but I don't care to remember all that. Okay, I, remembering isn't about caring, Monet. Yes, you. De- I def absolutely things that I care about. I will remember better than things I don't give a fuck about. For example, I can tell you the color of what the fuck that bitch had on at at, at that arcade we were at. Slam earlier. the table. Slam the table. <laughs> but if I but I can tell you everything you had on. I can tell you everything Jacob had on. I can tell you everything Ezra had on because I care about those details. I don't care about what these other people were doing. Well, I mean that that's that's for you. Everyone's brain doesn't work off of what they care about. Sometimes it's just what imprints in your brain. You just remember stuff. You ever have something like I don't know why I remember that, but I just remember this is true. But you are more like to remember things if you care about that experience or that person you move up. you are some people just remember things because they just happen to be a random thing they remember my memory oh, is, we're here we're there nearing uh, bob's worst well, listen, nightmare listen bitch my memory doesn't all right so we have to take a break and after this we have to be nice we cannot be say we cannot be mean to, to, how are you gonna do you're gonna fail in the first five minutes of this of this when we come back we'll see when we come back we have to do something okay so we why, to, why, why are you throwing it on me you're like, you lit, oh my God. Are we back? I don't even know. We're back. You already got one demerit. It starts now. So, Bob, both, <laughs> <laughs> both of our teams failed on the Tishi uh, um, when we did Legendary. So, mm-hmm. I don't quite understand why the onus is on me that I didn't fulfill my obligations when you were part of it as well. I did have a part in that we never came to an agreement on what the um, stakes would be. Well, all we know is, well, I think we said that we would both have to compete in a ball. We'd each get our own groups that would choreograph our, we'd, with our team. We'd, we'd have House of Exchange, House of the Drag mm-hmm. Queen, and then we would have some um, ballroom people critique us. Well, Bob, um, I think that when we first started, we agreed on something, and you decided to change it later on. So there was something that was agreed upon, but you decided to not adhere to the decision that we made together. I don't know if I remember it happening like that. I think you were asking and I was like, I don't know that I agree with this little thing. And I think I have the right to change my mind at any point. Well, Bob, you literally, you said your wish is for me, and I said, sure, I will do it. I don't think that's true. Yes. I don't think that's true. Um, the I, To wear your purse first impressions wig, you said, if I, if, then I have to wear your purse first impressions wig. Mm. Yes, you did. We'd have to hear the, the tapes for sure. Well, I'm telling you, that's what but it was. I also, remember. you owe me money from a couple of things. There was like a thing where, like, I I remember there was a thing if I ever beat you in Smash, you'd give me some money, which I've never received. Um, there were a couple other things along the lines. Too. Yeah, even things on your part as well that we that I that I have won and you haven't ponied up. I, I like know. what? There was you owe me a thousand dollars from something we we did. I don't remember. Just like you don't remember whatever. I remember I one, and you admit that you're just not paying me. Okay, also, also... You were just playing. <laughs> I was not just playing, but being someone in Smash, we have played, at this point, maybe thousands of Smash games. Mm-hmm. When I said that, it was I was being hyperbolic. So and you, I just, think, you, were just, you were just playing. And I think that we have both engaged in being hyperbolic on this podcast. So we, yes or no? I, w- I would agree we both okay. engaged in hyperbole. Mm-hmm. Um, but I think that um, you said out of your mouth, and we shook, and you said that you would, that I would never beat you in Smash, and if I did, you give me a certain amount of money, and I did beat you, and you never gave me the money. But but like I said, you were just playing. But so whenever you, it's time for you to pay up, you you was just playing. But would you agree that you've also said such things about um, make, about really good big stakes? Um, stakes, yes. I, mean, I, I don't know. remember any of those. Oh, okay, interesting. Do you remember any of them? I do remember. Can you name one. I can't remember off the, off the top so you, of my head. So you can't name it. Off the top of my head, I can't. So you don't remember any of them? Not right now. That's so interesting. I just remember mine. Anyway, it's not a big deal. Uh, I think we should re re uh, revisit some of our most intense arguments and mm-hmm. see if we can be nice to each other in the process. Okay, let's do that, Bob. Um, okay, so let's talk about veganism. Have your have your thoughts on veganism changed? Um, I don't remember what I was arguing about at that time, but I do think that yes, some of my thoughts on veganism have changed. What do you think you were wrong about? I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember what I was arguing for. I, mean, I think I think it was so long ago. I don't know. I remember now. Ooh, whoa. <laughs> oh, I remember. So what happened was we were discussing veganism, and I was saying that I think that um, not being a vegan is unethical, even though I wasn't a vegan and I'm not a vegan. 
um, I think it's unethical. And then you kept jumping inclusion being like, so if you eat meat, you're just the nastiest, most disgusting so would gutter you, butt person ever. So would you say that you're morally bankrupt if you know that being not vegan is unethical, but you still engage in that behavior? No. Okay. I don't think, what, Jacob? You were warning flag for being mean. How was I being mean? You said when he was jumping to conclusions, and I don't think you were really summarizing everything in a... I think if Monet was jumping to conclusions, and I stayed out loud that Monet was jumping to conclusions... To you. Yes, I'm talking about my experience. So, for example, if Monet hit me, and I say out loud, Monet hit me, I'm not being mean. I'm just stating what happened. So when I would say, I think that if you are not vegan. It's, it's unethical to not be vegan. And then when they said, so you think that if you eat meat, you're just the nastiest, meanest person, that is jumping to a conclusion. I think I'm calling out a thing that actually happened that, is, that does not sound mean. Now, if I were to say something like that kind of behavior is blank, 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 I think that's mean. Well, I will say when I said, that when I was arguing, what, what was saying that, oh, so you think, again, I think that it's something that we as a unit of civil rivalry engage in language like that. It's pretty... <laughs> Almost all the time. And I think it's fair to say, if you're if you're driving on the highway and you're speeding and a cop pull you over, it, it's not a defense to say everyone's speeding. That's not a defense. You were speeding and you were pulled over and you got caught. So it's not a defense to say, well, everyone's speeding. Well, breaking the law and having a podcast are two very different things. Two very different So, for spectrums. example, so- if, if, you, if there are children and then you and Sean are both eating cookies and then Jackie's like, who ate these cookies? You'll be like, well, you got caught. You'll be like, well, Sean was eating cookies yes. too. Yes. And then Sean would, and then but Sean would also that, get in trouble. But that does not that does not um, vindicate you or, or alleviate you of the wrongdoing of eating cookies. You were eating cookies. What so your defense seems to be, but we were all doing it. Well, if we are talking about sibling rivalry podcast, that is the nature of this podcast. That is how this podcast functions by engaging in, in that behavior quite often with each other. So if, if if this is a building block of our podcast, and I'm deciding to engage in that at that time, it is not strange or weird to do so. I didn't say it was strange. I just said you did it. Okay. I didn't say it was weird. I didn't say it was out of and place. And you did it very... I didn't say it was odd. And you did it many times during that conversation as well. Okay, sure. That's not the point. What, okay. I'm, what I'm saying is you did it. So me pointing out a thing that Monet did is not mean. Oh, I didn't say it was mean. I'm talking to her. <laughs> anyway, so in, in the veganism conversation, um, I we were, you know, going back and forth and you were, you know, feeling a certain way about my words both times we had the veganism conversation. But you you've changed since then. Yeah. Do you think I was right? Um, well, give me like two of your points about veganism that you said back then. So, like, for example, you were just saying now, do I think you're morally bankrupt if you engage in behavior that you know is wrong? No. Bankrupt means there's nothing. Yes. So meaning, you meaning you don't have morals. You don't have any morals about veganism. No. Mean, that means you are lacking a specific moral or you're not engaging in one specific moral. Does that mean you are bankrupt? Mean, does that mean you do not have morals? Okay. You are on your way to declare bankruptcy. I don't think morally. so. I think that in, if, if that's the case, then everyone's morally bankrupt because everyone in the world does something that they know is wrong. So based off that theory, everyone's morally bankrupt. I mean, again, and uh, and I will say there is a spectrum of, okay, bank, maybe bankrupt was too too much of a word, but everyone is engaging in an unethical behavior, particularly in, in veganism. Everyone who does consume meat well, is engaged, who who advocate for, for, for veganism. There is an ethical discrepancy. Well, not, not everyone who eats meat thinks that it is morally wrong to do so. Uh, so I'm not saying people who advocate for veganism. If you are a meat-eating vegan advocate, then I think there is some t- some type of disconnect in what you believe in to what you're doing. I don't think you're morally. Ethically. But I don't think you're morally. Yeah, not bankrupt. Not bankrupt. Yeah, but that was, you know what? Bob, you're right. I should not have used the word bankrupt. You don't get extra points. <laughs> <laughs> Let's move on. Um, oh my God. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Joel's, wait, was, is it Joel? No. No, Justin. J J Silcenti. Silcenti, yeah, J Silcenti. So this is an argument where Bob, um, so you had the number. Oh, a friend of mine wanted this illustrator's number, and um, Bob was the was the gatekeeper of this number. And Bob does not give people's numbers. Gate- without- <laughs> gatekeeper. That's an interesting choice of words. You chose. Bob was the keeper of the phone number, and then Bob. I have this person's, and phone. I didn't. So between us, you were the keeper of the. You had the number. You hold, you held this number. This doesn't feel nice. <laughs> this feels like a warning. <laughs> Are we not issuing warnings in all directions? All right, go ahead. <laughs> you held the you held the power of the number. So I 
asked you for the number. You said, Monet, please, what was it? You told me to text you, to remind you. And I forgot to text you and remind you. Then the next day, you called me in, um, in a chastising, like, tone. That's, a, that's subjective. Well, to me. And uh, yeah, and you're right. We're talking about my subjectivity. Mm-hmm. It was very not nice. And he said, Monet, were you were you going to call me to remind me to... So you were calling me to tell me I did not remind you to do the thing that you were doing. And I was like, you know what? It doesn't matter. I don't want it anymore. I don't care. And we got off the phone. Yeah, I think the story goes a little further than that. But I want to hear... Your, no, no, no. We got, you got off the phone. And then we started a text exchange. And then that's when it all went went fierce. What, 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 what happened in the text exchange? I don't remember at this point. We were just going back and forth. And I said something to you about... Um, your ego. What did I say? So I'm so glad you asked me. <laughs> so we got off of the. So I. So what happened was we were playing a video game. We, we were, we were not me and you. Game. Oh, me, Jacob, I think Mateo were all playing a video game, or maybe it was Nick or someone, and we're all playing a video game. And then I think Jacob was like, "Oh, don't forget to give Monet that guy's phone number." Mm-hmm. And then I said, "Well, he hasn't texted me back yet." And then I was like, "And Monet never texted me to remind me, which is why I completely forgot." Money never seems to remind me because I hadn't, I hadn't, I hadn't even texted him yet. But you just said he didn't get back to you yet. He didn't get because he didn't get because I hadn't reached out to him. So he had, I had but not, yet. I had not been given permission. Got it. I had not been given permission to give you the number. I, I forgot to reach out because you, when you texted me, I was playing a video game. And then when Jacob reminded me, we were playing a video game. No, like, I know. I told you at your house. Oh well, well first I I hadn't what I was doing something and I, and I could I forgot mm-hmm. to do it and I was like just text me mm-hmm. just text me and I'll and I'll be more than happy to do it for you and then. Jacob was like, so then I text Jason Senti, and then I called you, and I was like, are you not going to remind me to to reach out to that guy? And then you were like, and you, in according to your, you were like, you know what, Bob? Actually, I've already um, figured it out, and I'm no, no, it. I didn't say something like that. You I was what? like, I, it's actually it's it's, it's settled. That's not what I said. Everything's wonderful. That's here. not what I said. I said, you know what? Whatever, it doesn't matter. I don't want it anymore. Just, I'm okay. And, and then I got off the phone. And, but it was a little saucier than that. Oh yeah, no, it was. Uh, no, I, I said it like that. I was like, you know what, Bob? It doesn't matter. I don't need it. Whatever. I'm gonna reiterate. It was a little saucier than that. It was literally that. Bob, first of all, I never speak to you unless we're playing around. I don't have I ever raised my voice to you when we we're having a series. It's not about raising your voice. I don't raise. I don't. It's not about raising your voice. Right, and I, so I said it like you can, this. You can be... I didn't okay, say, how saucy? Please, I didn't please. say it was louder. Okay, which, do, you, do you mind demonstrating what I did? I said it was saucy. Okay, can you mind demonstrating well, what... For example, mm-hmm. typically speaking, and I'm not saying I don't scream, because I think as long as you know me, you seem to scream at one person. You scream pretty often on this podcast, I would have said. <laughs> scream. Bitch, what bitch that is screaming? You seem to scream at one person. Me on this podcast. No, the, the <laughs> producer in Canada. Yeah, this and me. I've never screamed at. Anyway, so... I, you, you were like, you know what, Bob? This is not me being mean. Monet was like, you know what, Bob? Actually, as a matter of fact, I don't even care. I don't want anymore because if you're going to be doing that, I don't want anymore. No. I don't even say that. That's not even how I talk to you. That's not even how I talk to you. I know for I know for a fact I would never even speak to you like that. That's not how I speak to you. I I have. I was like this. I was. I was like, Bobby. No, what? It doesn't matter. I don't need it. Whatever. And now that's sauce if you said it before. It's, no, that is not. Every y'all, time, y'all adding, listening. That is the same. You're no. adding a little more pesto sauce every time. <laughs> that's exactly it's, how I said it. There's now more sauce than pasta. <laughs> So I text you back and I was like, Monet, I just, all I asked that you do was that you just text me to remind me and you, you said you do it and you did. I'm just asking you if you'll, rem- if you will remind me. And I forgot, which is why I didn't. I was, and, there was, and, 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 then, and I think in your mind, you had the vendetta that I just did not text you because I was just trying to be extra. That's an assumption. But I, but I think it's a probably a pretty accurate one. That didn't feel nice. <laughs> Can we? Okay. So, so at this point, um, I am like, well, you know, and then Monet goes, Bob, this is just some. You know what? I'm so glad that my phone saves every text message. I don't even need to guess. What, oh, I have it too, baby. I don't even need to guess. What I don't even Monet know what said. year this was. Do a dramatic reading. Do a dramatic reading. I just, yeah. just search the word ego. Whoa! Did it come up? Okay, bring it up so we can read it. We have to read each other's part. You have to, yeah, I want to read your part. <laughs> Wait. No, who, who's reading who? I'm reading. You're going to be, you be yours. I'm being you. So where are we starting? Um, I think it's there. Okay. This is April 21st, 2020. Mm-hmm. You start. This you, you have to start. You, the first one. Oh, no, they right. It's your phone. Call me. So... <laughs> So you really aren't going to text me? 
Oh, this. Oh, this is. Oh, oh, yeah. This Wait, is no. later. This is later. It is, so it actually starts. It actually starts at eleven twenty nine. It starts at eleven twenty nine. That that was the early thing. We we spoke on. No, 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 no. I had called. No, I had told you to call. Oh, I, yeah. Yeah. This, this early. So it starts here. So you really aren't gonna text me? Wow. <laughs> There we go. There we go. That's what it was. <laughs> Wait, uh-huh. 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 And I was I was playing around. This uh, is, no, this is not playing no, around. This Bob, is, I know this is not I was oh, playing. I was playing. You are not playing around. I, I know. I <laughs> okay, let, let's start again. I want I, I want I want I want to get it. I want to get in there. Wait, I can't wait till you <laughs> So you really are gonna text me. That was at 1139, 11.41. Because money has not No, no, out. no, no. Read. We're just no. reading the scene. Wow. <laughs> Pride will be your downfall. <laughs> I was... <laughs> I will never forget. I was painting for exchange rate. And I was like, what is going on? <laughs> Uh-huh. 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 You are crying. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Uh-huh. 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 Wow, pride will be your downfall. I was like, oh my God, what the fuck? (laughs) I will never forget that. I was like, this escalated so quickly. So funny. All right, now you you read. Mm -hmm. Oh, this one now. See, now I was kidding. No, you are not. No, you were not. Yes. (laughs) So. Thanks. I know you. Read. The only person I know better than me read. is you. Okay, so, bitch. Read your response. And I said, "You have some nerve. You know, you know what I would like you to help me out with, and you're choosing not to for your own weird ego thing." At this point, I send Monet <laughs> the number because because uh, Joe has now sent me the phone number. To which Monet responds, "Send it or not, bitch. Thank you." Wow, send it or not, <laughs> bitch. I have now seven and I said it's not an ego thing. I just asked you to remind me. No, s- it's not an ego. I just asked you to help remind me, and you simply refuse. It's weird. I didn't ask you to build a bridge, just send a reminder. <laughs> but you didn't need a reminder. You're just being extra, Bob. And I think, okay, let me just take a break. I did need a reminder because I completely forgot. And Jacob reminded me. At that point, I text him and I called you simultaneously. But you had the number. You I did not have a number, but I didn't have permission. Okay. I did not have permission to give you the number. So once you sent me the thing, that should have been it. But you, you don't want to keep going. Bitch. <laughs> but we say bitch all the send time. It. Oh, so you were kidding when you said send it or not, bitch. You were just, you were joking, but I can't be joking. <laughs> Keep reading. Bitch. When you ask me to do something, I don't give you, I don't give you caveats. I don't give you um, stipulations. I just, ellipse, ellipse, ellipse. I just do it. They're called ellipses. I, ellipses. I, ellipses. I know, ellipses. I know. I know. I was, yes. Um, which, and which is a fact. Bob, you ask me, I will do, I, you, bitch, I have done things with you that Same. I, that I, that I <laughs> <laughs> that's not a red. That's a that's a point. That's a full on point. That's not a red flag. That is a point. <laughs> I do them sometimes to my detriment. Same. I'm like, do I not do that for you? <laughs> do I not do that for you? You do, you you're in the number. Money. I did the moment he gave me permission <laughs> to send you the number. I sent it to you. Is that true or is that not true? Yeah. So I was not. I was not hoarding. The, there was this thing you were accusing me of hoarding the number. But, and I, I, and I, I never accuse you. I never accuse you of hoarding. No, I never I, said you know, that. I apologize. You didn't say that. No, I, I apologize earlier. Did, so that should be a zero for you, me. You did accuse. No, we're not taking back. You did accuse me of having some sort of an ego. <laughs> you you were, you accused me of a, a pride being my downfall. <laughs> so, and I said, and you really, and I said, and you really. <laughs> <laughs> think you're not most times without question i didn't question you i didn't ask for anything in return i just said text me a reminder and on principle you chose not to do it girl whatever mm, the dismissal the <laughs> dismissal this is a weird <laughs> hill to die on i'm alive and <laughs> so you are being so petty you are being so petty <laughs> I'm alive. This is a real housewife <laughs> shit. 
I'm not mad. Baby, I'm, I'm alive. I'm living. I'm alive, baby. Who's dying? Who's dead, honey? I'm alive and well. I generally don't care to... I, oh, I, I, gen, I, gen, I'm, I'm genuinely. I generally don't care to argue about this. It's literally not worth it. Be genuinely. It. Yeah. Um, oh, my God. You are still going. Most folks would be like, I would like for you to... I would like for you to reach out to someone and get a contact for me. And all you want... And all you want is for me to text a number as a reminder and say thanks and move on. I am not talking about this. I sent you the number and you chose <laughs> to argue how did you how I did you wrong instead of just saying thanks. You clearly you clearly can't slash choosing not to read. Then when they start sending petty scrapgrams. <laughs> what did I circle? Send it or not, bitch. Thank you. I don't know why I said you that. Because you said thank you. And I oh. said some people say thank you and all. Oh god, I got it, got it. And then we both started <laughs> we both start engaging in screen grabs and but can you, you know you screen grab you circle one word <laughs> can you admit that what was the escalating factor was pride will be your downfall that was that was a that escalated for you and what escalated for me was you saying this is your ego well that was after you the pride thing the pride thing I was which joking we were, <laughs> I was you just called her a bitch thank you Did a word for you yes you just called her a bitch Maria you called mom a bitch when, when? Right just right now, now. Right now. You are losing this game. <laughs> we were going like this, Pride, we, girl. We were on. We were on. The, it took us a write up. I think that tone is hard to infer in text, and I was joking. You know, I want to apologize to you because I would never want to hurt your feelings, ever. My feelings are hurt. I'm not mad. I'm a lot of <laughs> Did your friend ever get something dropped by Joe? No. <laughs> she didn't even contact him. <laughs> we should have Joe on the podcast we sometimes should. to talk about the the because Joe was apparently getting like uh, emails and letters. Oh, he I he yeah, he is because we his Instagram is popping. He's beautiful. <laughs> because we argued because 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 his phone number almost ruined our friendship. <laughs> and I think I met Joe at like a film festival. Mm -hmm. He had a film where Amanda Lepore was a mermaid. Mm -hmm. Amanda Lepore voiced this mermaid. And then he was like, if you ever need something drawn, let me know. Anyway. Work. And animated. And, Ooh, and he girl, also, the Heated Cracker is uh, animation for her. Yeah, thing. for you did you think. Yeah. Ooh, girl. Joe's so sensitive. He almost ruined our friendship. <laughs> Didn't like this bitch. Kesha. Although that, that, that one wasn't really, we, 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 we weren't arguing. No, I don't think we were arguing. Yeah. I think that was more, um, a fun, passionate conversation. Yeah. Um, Monet, why don't you... Uh, wait, oh, let's do this one. Monet, why don't you invite Bob to... <laughs> you and the girl. Oh, my God. So, I do not... Okay, when I first moved to LA, you were still in the dark about many about me living here. So, a lot of those things... Colorism. <laughs> a lot of those things were because you did not know I was in California. And then you found out about it afterwards. You're like, why didn't I know? And I, every time we talk, I try to tell you, you did not know I was living in LA. I was still trying to surprise you. What about um, <clears throat> Kim's super secret um, dinner, birthday dinner last night? <laughs> oh my God. What about it? <laughs> it's not my birthday. Also, you were, uh, and I spoke to Kim, and Kim said you were invited. I was absolutely not. Well, it's not and my, I, call her. I, I, I have proof <laughs> through text. I was absolutely, the last text I got from Kimberly Cheese <laughs> was her sending me the location of this thing, there it is, it's a huge arcade, your boyfriends can come and whoever you want to bring, and then I'm saying, where are you? I did not receive an invite to this dinner. Well, it's not my dinner. I It wasn't my birthday. I was invited, I came, and then when I went there, I was like... You, so you, do you remember when um, we went to the producers and the creators of We're Here's House, and it wasn't my party, and it wasn't my thing, but I found a way to get you invited? Do you remember that? It was just last night. <laughs> so it wasn't my party. Uh, first it of wasn't all. my home. And I said, and I reached out and I said, can my dear friend Monet exchange please come So you want me to go to the person's birthday party? And get me invited. <laughs> yes. You're supposed to be ride or die. I told you I'm not ride or die, bitch. <laughs> I bitch, I told you. <laughs> and and I did ask I, I did ask him. She said, Bob, Bob is invited. He could come. So, but I didn't get invited. <laughs> she said she did. I don't. I don't. I'm not aware of the goings and comings of you and Kimberly's relationship. But she said you were invited. <laughs> I mean, I don't even want to talk about the, the biggest issue. I'm, I'm just going to show everyone. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh.
Oh, so now you're making my face fat on purpose. If, y- if you are not watching, that means you are probably watching on YouTube. You can join the Patreon and see what I just showed. It is the infamous sweater. <laughs> and, and again, I want to reiterate, I like the sweater a lot. And I want to ask you a simple question. <laughs> when I say, can you just post a picture of you wearing it and you re- Fuse. By the way, I'm not alone on this. You have changed the story so many times. First, it was just, Monet, I'm not asking you to post it. You literally just said you want me to post it. And then and last, and last episode, my, you my said, I don't want you to post it. Just want you to send me a picture of it. And you haven't done any of those, right? But you see it, right? So why do you need to I know it exists. So why do you need to have a picture because of it? Because I want to know that you're wearing it. So but, but the question is, have you sent me a picture of it? Have you? No. Have you um, worn it out in public? Yes. I'll just have to take your word for it because I believe you because you're my friend. Yeah. And why would you lie to me? All right, I would never lie to you. You would never lie to me. Um, and I was saying, and a lot, a lot of people online were like, wow, Bob really went through a lot of um, effort and time to get you this gift that he put a lot of thought into. And all he wants is a picture of you wearing it and you re... Are you, did you refuse to send it? No, I just did. I, you know what? I didn't refuse. I just didn't find the time to wear it to take a picture for you. And also, I live alone, so it's hard to get a picture taken. Well, tell, well you, you can f- find pictures of you scratching your hat and uh, n- nudes across the entire... We can do it right now. <laughs> you can do it right now. <laughs> I'll be too hot if I put that card again. See, off. <laughs> and this is mean. This is a demerit. <laughs> you are doing a thing. You're, you're intentionally choosing not to let me see you wear this. And you know it's true, which is why you're not saying anything. <laughs> and by the way, I'm not on Lonely Island. But everyone is like Monet. Have you seen people like Monet just wear? Where is this Lonely Island thing from? Why do you say that? You said it's in season eight. What is Lonely Island? Lonely Island, like you're by yourself. But it's like a, a reference to something, or just like you just made up. I, I don't know that I'm, I don't know that I made it up, but I, I think Lonely Island is a common phrase. You said it on season eight of Drag Race. You know this? Yeah, I remember. Am I on Lonely Island or am I or am I in Manhattan? That's, that's I said, am I on Staten Island or am I in Manhattan? You said Lonely Island first. Didn't yeah, you? I know. I said, am I on Lonely Island? Bitch, am I living in Staten Island or am I in Manhattan right now? Anyway, um, just... Lonely Island is an expression. I mean, they're, they're, they're like a group called the Lonely Island. Um, so it's, it's, an, it's, a, it's a popular expression. Got it. Um, but again, I'm not on Lonely Island. You are in this one. And a lot of people are like, when they just wear the jacket. And I think it is mean to not. Mean? Yes. Mean. My feelings were hurt. Your they feelings, are still hurt. They're not. Still they hurt. are. I really put a lot of thought into this jacket. I put so much thought and care, and I was remember thinking to myself, she's going to love this. This is going to be, like, such a, like, I was, like, so excited about, like, getting it to you, and, like, I drove all the way to Brooklyn to get it. All the way? Yeah, by Uber. I didn't have a car at the time. So it was, like, 140 bucks to get to and from Brooklyn. So that tells you you can afford it. That's, that's not the point. That's not the point. You know what? I drove my, I rode my city bike from my house to Fifth Avenue and 47th Street to get you that ring. And somebody and back. tells me you have the energy to do it. And that doesn't I change. I did not. I was so tired. It doesn't change that you did it. It doesn't matter. Whether or not you have the energy and can doesn't change that you did not. And I really appreciate that. So when I drove, I appreciate you going to Brooklyn to get this. So, But that's why I wear it. You see me with the ring. I send you, One I send time. You picture, I send you pictures of me wearing them. I go, look, I'm wearing your blah, blah, blah. I'm wearing your earrings. I'm wearing your ring. I send you pictures. I'm like, I want you to see me enjoying these things. I'm literally begging, literally begging you to take one picture of yourself wearing this jacket or just put it on in my presence and you literally refuse to. Okay, I'll put it on next time you're here. I, next time? I'm here right now. But you're wearing it. I can't wear it. It's too hot. It's, See? Uh, this is mean. <laughs> you are being mean. You're intentionally doing this to antagonize me. This is another point. You are being mean. No, you don't you don't decide what who gets what points. Who decides? Jacob, he's doing the points. Jacob, is this a point or not? Yeah, I mean, th- we can find a way to make you wear it if, if you think you'd be hot. We can turn I, okay, and, and I mean, the air is on. You turn the air on my, when, when I turn my back. For you. My thing is that I don't want to be bullied to it. I will wear it in my own time. I'm not bullying. I was you asking, are. begging. That's bullying someone. Bullying is not just being forceful. There are other ways to bully someone. And this is a part of bullying. I, You're bullying me into wearing something. And I will wear it in my own I time. I guess we'll look up the word, the definition oh, of the word oh bullying God. now. <laughs> bullying definition. Let's see. Bullying is... Um, to seek to harm. What's the second word? Intimidate <laughs> or coerce someone perceived <laughs> someone perceived as vulnerable. <laughs> I am the most vulnerable person in this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> 
What makes you wrong? I think you're, I think you're strong. <laughs> Intimidate and go. I was asking you. you are so, by this you're vulnerable. I am vulnerable. You have put this information for millions of people to consume. And now everyone is bullying me on Twitter, on Instagram DM to, to wear, wear a sweater. To, to wear a sweater. To wear that, a sweater. That's bullying. To wear a sweater. It's bullying. So will you will you will you acknowledge any part of your behavior who has forced thousands, tens of thousands of people to bully you? You think I forced to... people to bully you? Not what forced, you but you are you okay, okay, it. not forced, but you have are you acknowledging your part in behavior of people DMing me and tweeting at me and being very and being very uh um intimidating and trying to coerce me to wear this cardigan? Will you acknowledge your part in that? I think that Well you know we acknowledge your listen, part in that. I'm telling you my part. I think that my part was I just said out loud what happened and how I was feeling. And then people came to their own conclusion. I did not encourage. I did not... Well, that's not true. Yes. I did I'm, ask people, should Monet wear the sweater? On, I listened to the podcast two-day driving back several times. And you still want to wear the sweater? <laughs> because, you're, because now you're bullying me. So you admit that you just don't want to wear it out of spite. Because I, cause, because, because I feel very bullied. I, to quote LaGanja Stranger, I feel very attacked. But you just don't want to wear my sweater. Because I feel very attacked and bullied. We'll, we'll take a break after this. You're losing the game, by the way. <laughs> I'm not losing. Yes, you are. You have two marks. <laughs> Calling me out of my name twice. <laughs> We're back. <laughs> I don't... I, I don't think I have the emotional bandwidth to discuss this sweater because I'm telling you that my feelings are hurt because you won't wear it and you don't believe me. I do. I do I believe, you just don't care. I believe you, but it's be, a lot of this is because I've been bullied. So you telling me the first time I asked you to wear it, that was because you've been bullied? No, I generally didn't have that. I just, I, I, I was, I didn't have it. On me and my person, like it was probably packed away. I wanted my initial plan was to wear it in drag and belt it with a black leotard. I was saving to wear it for that look, and that didn't happen. You and- to put a belt over the face, <laughs> just like a just a belt right over the face, over the eyes. So it kind of looked like I'm like you know, like you wear the belt over your titties. <laughs> no, the eyes are the eyes are down here. Are they? Yes. Oh, I just think it's kind of strange <laughs> to put a belt over the jacket. That seems odd. <laughs> <laughs> to wear it in drag to give you a silhouette over the eyes, Monet. Like putting a belt over the, the main feature no, of the garment. The like but there's a belt. You can't see the thing. <laughs> yeah, you can. Anyway, I just think. Oh my god. I, I I I was. Can you acknowledge that a lot of people are like Monet? Why don't you just wear it? Yeah, a lot of people have. A lot of people are like, I really see it, Bob's way. That, that I would be upset if I if I really put like so much thought, passion into an idea, and a person just won't even give you the I. I can't speak for everyone. I know that when I get someone something, it's because I want to see them use it or have it or enjoy it or just know that they're at least using it. It's it's like the fucking Katya shoe situation all over again. Well, you know, they ever say it was her name? They ever say it was Katya? We'll it. I'm gonna say it was Katya at some point. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, I think I acknowledge that, and I think that you have maybe have not realized your part in the bullying that has ensued on my part and my, what I have to deal with daily because of <laughs> your feelings about the Twitter. <laughs> But, you know, I have also purchased gifts for you that you have not necessarily utilized. And like what? That's fine. Those glasses that we all put the money in, that I put the majority of the money I in. I use those glasses. I have never seen you use those glasses besides the first day that we gave them to you. And, you know, that's okay. Because, you know, because I gave you that gift, I'm not, I, I don't have any expectations, any stipulations. I gave that gift to you freely, and you do with it what you will. So here's the thing. So the first day I gave you the sweater, you didn't put it on. I've literally never seen you wear the sweater. Literally not once. Not even a well, single... Well, I have worn it. People have seen me wear this sweater. Not even a home. single solitary time have I ever seen you wear this sweater. The first day you gave me the glasses, I wore them. I wore them again several times. You wore them times. for about 10 minutes. That's not true. We can call them to hell. I wore them again several times after that. I wore them in Berkeley when I went out, when I go out in the sun. So I've, I have worn them before. What I have worn your cardigan around my home. Dewan has seen it. Mm-hmm. Kamika's probably seen it. I've worn my sweater around my home. So if you called Dewan right now, he would confirm that. I mean, he probably doesn't remember. It's not, he wasn't. That's rem- not the question. The question is, if I called him, called him now, would he confirm that? I don't know. I don't How know. About Kamika? I don't know. It's a statement piece. Like, I think if I called someone and said, do you remember the time that I wore that sweater that had my, that my face on the back? They'd be like, oh, yeah, I remember that sweater. They, I mean, you can try. I don't know if they'll remember. Let's, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call one person and say they remember when I wore this sweater. Then you'll try. Because it's, it's like a, it's a pretty bold Who? piece. We're calling you Rico Harrell. Okay, well, that's different. If she remembers a sweater that I wore? That's so weird. I was just thinking about you. Well, before you say anything, you're on speakerphone and I'm on the podcast. Huh? Before you say anything, you're on speakerphone with me and Monet and I'm on the podcast. Oh, okay. That's so weird. I was just 
thinking about you and Monet. This is so weird. So I have I have a really quick question. Do you ever remember me wearing that one sweater I had that had my face on the back? Yes. Oh, okay. I just want to know. If, I just want to know if you remembered it because I like it's like it's like a bold statement piece. I just want to know if you remember me wearing it. Okay. Do you, do you remember like where where I may have worn it to? What? Do you remember where I may have worn it? Like where you saw me wearing it? The sweater? Yeah, with with my face on the back. Eureka, just for context, he's trying to prove a point to Monet that the sweater is memorable. <laughs> so he's calling people to see if they remember the sweater. So this has to do with the sweater and it, it has nothing to do like with anything you were doing. Just so you know. Yeah. I thank you to the white lady in the room. Thank you. That's so sweet. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and not speak to each other. Um, I, the sweater, uh, on tour. <laughs> she has no, no idea. She remember, but she, but you remember, but you remember Honestly, me. You know what I'm also getting it confused with is your jacket that said queen on War Hero. Oh, uh, work. Well, but, but, but you do, but, but you do remember the sweater though. The sweater with your giant face on it. Yes. That's the one. It's terrifying. <laughs> work well perfectly remember it well yes thank you you, you proved my point thank you so much Rika you, have a good day okay I love you so much Mwah. I'll call you later oh that's all I got okay love you too my name love, love, love you too Bye. all right let's call Deshaun and see if he remembers De- wow his name is Dewan. Dewan or Kamika did you text him ahead of time can I see the text oh my god okay yes. Dewan, this is Monet Exchange about the dragon. You're on speakerphone. You're on the podcast. <laughs> What's going on, guys? Um, What's up, um, Dewan? Have you do you uh, what, around my house? Do you remember? Do you ever um, remember me wearing that black cardigan with my face on the back of it? No, black oh, cardigan okay. face on the back of it. Oh, thank you so much, Dewan. Thank you so much. <laughs> that, that, that was really all we needed. Thank you so much, Dewan. <laughs> okay. okay. You have, I'm gonna later. That was interesting. You want to uh, try? Do you want to try Kamika? Kamika hasn't been in the house in like two years. So but you would, said, but you said she saw. Well, it. I, I thought maybe her, I can't remember who's been in my house when. But Kamika hasn't been in my house in about two years, so it, it wouldn't line up. It's like you get to, to me in two thousand. So 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 what? So, so in two thousand twenty. But you said me. earlier that Kamika would. I seen thought. It. Okay, I don't remember Arcia or Kamika. I don't well, remember. You have Arcia's number still. <laughs> I gotta go Arcia. Because <laughs> you have nothing. There's nothing corroborated that you actually ever wore the sweater. <laughs> I'm not gonna bear. It. I know I've worn your sweater. I have no reason to lie about it. Okay. Do you think anyone else may have seen you wear the sweater? No, I'm not. <laughs> That's just so interesting to me. That is very interesting to me. <laughs> to be fair, you have worn your sweater many times. It's, it's been on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. I've seen you. That's what a lot. I'm saying people remember it. Anyway, let's move on. Um, what is your biggest pet peeve about me? Um, I don't really know. I don't really think I have a real pet peeve from you, and I've really thought about this before because I think we asked each other before, and I think I remember saying something, but I feel like I may have just chosen something in the moment. I don't like when you. I'm trying to think. Um, maybe when you. I honestly, I can't think of it. I really enjoy your company. I think that sometimes you. Uh, I know. I I know your pet peeve about me. What you you hate when I tell you I'm gonna come over and I don't come over. Oh, that's that is upsetting when you. <laughs> yeah, when you when you because I'm like waiting up for you, and you just don't come, and I'm like literally just waiting up. Or when you say, when you say I'm gonna call you, I'm when Monet that's is like it. I'm like Monet, I'm gonna call you. Please answer the phone, and you don't answer the phone, and you don't call back, and then you're like I was just like skipping. It's not I'm, okay. Not, that I was okay. I I apologize. That was. <laughs> it, it, would you say this is a, a time where we have engaged in hyperbolic activity on this on this I, podcast? I, I I and I yes, and I think that we often engage in hyperbole. That is not. I'm again. I don't want to say that you engaging in hyperbole is rare, odd, or strange. I'm just pointing out when it happens. And in those situations, we are both busy. We both do things. And sometimes I, I have, you know, I have the worst memory that ever. And I do often forget. But sometimes. I forget the worst sweaters. It's similar to you. When I call you sometimes and I will call you twice in a row, you don't answer the phone and I'll text you. And then three days later, I will like, Bobby, give my message. Like, Monet, I'm busy. So, I, I want, I want, we're here. I'm working, girl. I am. And, I'm, I'm, and, I, and, I, and, I'm, and I'm always like, okay. That's not true. The reason why that's not the reason why that's not um, the same thing. There's a difference between texting someone, calling someone, like like them not seeing the text versus saying, "Me, we are both on the phone." And I say, "When I want to call you in, literally a minute, 
please answer the phone. And when it says, I will do that, I call you back and you don't answer. I call, or the other day when we were supposed to uh, play video games at seven o'clock. Seven o'clock. Okay, but you know why I can answer the phone. So I, don't act brand new. We were like, okay. And then, and but you know why. Do not, don't even ring that part. No, no, because then there was, an, and then we rescheduled for nine o'clock. And, and then Monet, then, let me tell you, I was like, Monet, we're going to play video games at nine o'clock. And mm-hmm. he calls me. And then I say, I'm on the phone with my mom. I will call you back. Right, no, right back. And right, and then it was like, and I, because we, I, we can, we can double check. Oh yeah, that was mm, the text. I promise I'll call you afterwards, not I'll call you right back. I said, no, uh, uh, no, I said, call me. Talking to my mother. I said, KK, call me when you're done. Also, till I said hi. Did you, did you tell I said hi? Yes. And, And, but I did not say call, I didn't say call you right back. I said, talking to my mother. So you just, so you just made up a lot. Okay, okay. Then I, you know, I apologize. I did not say talking right back. You're right. I did say that. But, and then it was like an hour and 10 minutes later. And I was very tired. And I fell asleep. Must be nice. <laughs> <laughs> so then I text you and said, call me at 10 o'clock at 1, 12.52. I fell asleep. Monet says, I did. I was very tired. Same. <laughs> and I stayed up to hang out with you. I just stayed up just to hang out with you and play video games. So and so whenever I whenever you don't think it's a little bit rude to tell someone you're going to do something and just don't do it. Yeah. I, I, okay. When in those situations, I, and I they normally work related. We can agree with that. It would be like a podcast or a Zoom or something, and then no, we. Do- I, I would. No, I think that typically when we're meeting for work stuff, both of us almost always. No, make no, not it every work. single time. The reason why, oftentimes, the reason why one of us doesn't is because of a work thing. Oh, you're saying okay? Because I'm. Like, I mean, I, I don't know why you're not making this stuff. What? I don't know why you're not making this stuff. This 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 dates back to you and me before either one of us was busy. We were just uh, hoes bopping around New York City. No, I was busy. I had a full time job. You? Me too. I was a full time drag queen. Yeah, I was. A, but I had like a full time corporate job where I had to be at work. So your, for, was yours more important than mine? I was doing eight but shows I was, a week. But I was putting more time in than you. That's not true. I was doing eight shows. A I week. was working. Over, I was working like twelve hour days, five days a week. 12, yeah, and what, I was also twelve time five, sixty hours. I was working six. Were you working sixty hours in drag a week? Yes. No, you weren't. Absolutely. Not. Okay, let's 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 just break down my work hours. <laughs> Monday nights, I would uh, be at the bar by midnight. Uh huh. I start getting. It takes me an hour to get to the club, so I leave. And you don't 11. count your time. Okay. Yes, you do. Okay, so then if, if we're kind of time twenty from work, it was two hours each way. Okay, well, hour and a half. So sure. that's so adding three hours, so fifteen hours. A okay, day. super. You're you're a lot of that. It also takes two hours for me to get ready for work. So if I'm leaving at 11, I'm actually starting to get ready at 9 o'clock. So 9, 10, 11, 12, it's already four hours. I'm already... No, 9 to 10 is 1, 11, 12. That's three hours, baby. 9 to 10, 10 to 11, 11 to 12. Three. Nine, okay, three. Uh, I apologize. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I was educated in Atlanta public schools. And we can skip all this. No, no, and no. Then you get, and then you, you, then you get... Then I get to the club, and the show starts at midnight. My show would not be done. And I wouldn't leave the bar until it was closed at 4 o'clock every single time. Okay. So from 9 to 4... From nine to that's four. eight hours. I mean, that's seven hours. Yes, and then the ride home. An hour, okay. That's an eight-hour workday. Okay, eight hours. But and I was working then, fifteen hours a day. And then, because I'm not done yet, I would make my clothes during the day. Not every day. Often, sometimes. I was working on my drag every single day. I was there, and I and I know that I, I was there more than you, though. <laughs> so I was working on my drag every single day. All that sewing, that is work. That is credit. Those in the hours. leotard that you make in forty-five minutes. Okay, I wasn't that, just wearing this. That's leotard. a red flag. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, not, it's not like you're, because I was making more than leotards. I was making the, the hideous prom dress you all hated. I was making outfits for you. I was making gowns. I was making cat suits. I was making dresses. I was making a lot of, a lot of garments. Not just leotards that I made in 45 minutes. That seemed like, like that was diminishing my work. Oh my and God. there were some nights where I did two shows a night. So I, I was working. Not as much as me. I mean, I, I can't confirm how many hours a week you work, but I can confirm how many hours working, and it was a lot. I was working a lot. Would so. you say it was more than me? Probably. It could have been. You think it couldn't have possibly have been. No. Because the truth is, I had more weekly shows than you did. But we don't want hours full time. 
When we were no, not necessarily. When we were both before Drag Race, I definitely had more shows. Than you me. had Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. You were off on Thursday. Well, you did Queen sometimes. No, no, no. I did two shows. On, I did two shows on Thursdays. I was Boots and Queens, and on Sundays I also did two shows. I did shows every day except Friday and Saturday. <laughs> Are we going to pause for you to pet the cat? <laughs> okay, let's move on from here. Well, you didn't tell you your biggest pet peeve about me. Um, I don't really, I don't think I have a pet peeve about you. Uh, I don't know. I don't think me not like we don't show up as a pet peeve. It's just, I just don't like that you that you do that. It's, it's upsetting. And and it feels like you just come, but I mean, I feel like pet peeve is like you leave the dishes out. That feels like a pet peeve. Like a right. pet peeve. But I don't, and I also don't think pet peeves are really that that big. Like, they're they're not that big of a deal. I'm like pet peeves. You have a great eyelash. Probably. This podcast, trust me, that's probably your cat. Oh, who's yeah. by the way not hairless. I'm convinced someone just shaved a cat and sold it to you because <laughs> your cat's covered in hair. <laughs> covered in hair. She's not covered in hair. She's covered in hair. <laughs> um, can you get arrested? At court, we already did that one. Um, do you need to finish all your antibiotics? Yes, I I was wrong on that episode. You should finish your antibiotics. You know, I've actually been thinking a lot about. Um, I found out that I have some anti vaxxers in my family. Really? And I don't mean just like the vaccine, like Pfizer, Moderna, Johnson. Just Johnson. in life, black people. A it lot is, of black people do not trust the government, which is so valid to not mm-hmm. trust the government, but not trusting the vaccines is wild. It is dangerous. It can kill people. Agreed. It can alienate your children to not get them vaccinated. It can make them a social pariah. And there are people in my family who are like, I'm just not going to do vaccines. I'm like... Which is so crazy. Because you remember as kids, we used to have those... I don't know about y'all, but in similar, we had these immunization cards. And every year, you had to get your immunization cards filled with like measles, smallpox, yeah, like all this same. stuff. So I'm like, if the government was trying to get us, baby, they had ample opportunity, space, and time. And not only that, but my um, it just it's just really just been upsetting me in general to hear that people in my family are like don't get the vaccine, which is uh, gra- super odd because my grandma had polio mm. and her legs were crippled from the polio. Um, there are a lot of people in my family who are at risk. My mom, my aunt Hazel, did, you, did, my did your mom Steve, get it? The vaccine, yeah, of course. My mom, okay. my mom is not one. Oh no, my mom is not okay. one of the anti-vaccine people. Martha Caldwell is like, I mean, science has kept my mother alive for the past ten mm-hmm. years. My mother is not one of the folks like I don't trust them doctors. She's like, thank God my doctors help keep me alive. I'd, I'd be dead right now if it wasn't for my doctors. Mm-hmm. And it just seems, I, I mean, I don't know, understand the people online who would take medical advice from like some nut job living in the woods who's temp- talk about what they read on. QAnon or oh. Facebook or Twitter or Reddit versus listen to a medical professional who's gone to school to study medicine. Do you know there are... Um, oh, I, forgot, I lost my train of thought. Anyway, get vaccinated, y'all. Get the vaccine. I have two, my, two of my people I work with in my music. They're like, I'm not getting that shit. <sighs> I know. But you know, Tuskegee, what they're doing to women at the border, sterilizing them without their knowledge. I mean, I again, I get why people would be trepidation about the government because they do shady shit all the time. But this well, is what would the government gain? Who knows? From- what well, they have a whole there's a whole conspiracy about that how in black and brown neighborhoods they give us different like it's Moderna, but it's like a different Moderna. But they have like all these conspiracies that in like certain communities and neighborhoods and areas, they get the different type of the vaccine. And can we both say emphatically on this podcast that we don't believe that? Oh yeah, I do not believe that at all. And it, this is the kind of stuff that, in my opinion, keeps the black community at a disadvantage because we spread information like this. So then people in the pulpit at church are yelling about how vaccines are microchipped and how they're trying yeah. to get us and how it's poison and how it's seeping into our brains and all that stuff. And I'm like, wow, this is very dangerous rhetoric for the black community. Again, I want to say out loud that having suspicions is valid, but I think that not getting the vaccine is genuinely dangerous. Oh, yeah, for sure. And especially choosing to not get your children vaccinated of any Because they don't have a choice. They don't have a choice. They have to do what you tell them to do. And so they, uh, little Tyree or little Cindy can't leave the house and go get a fucking vaccine. Like, you need to do it for them. So it is not fair to them and their life and their well-being and their existence. It just doesn't make sense. It just does not make sense. Just listen to... If you're going to listen to anyone, only listen to 
medical scientist. I heard the one people said that doc, that um Dr. Fauci started it. He birthed COVID in his in his fucking. And why? <laughs> why? <laughs> Let's talk about it after the break. No, that's it. We're at the end of the podcast. We said it. We were at an hour. I mean, you can keep going if you want to. Oh, that's a wrap. That's a wrap, bitch. We made it through pretty much everything. We did. So I think that we both. Uh, I think you lost. You well, called me a bitch twice to Jacob. And also, you were like literally pushing your own agenda on Jacob, Jacob, because now now it's done. Well, you were pushing your own shit on Jacob. Well, we didn't decide. You decided. Uh, we have to have an arbiter. So if you're gonna play a game, you have to have an arbiter. But you cannot. That's like when you play. You you can't be like right, and you should give him one. Like you can't do that. I, I am. You're making up rules. You don't get to make up rules. I'm just asking. Is this a rule? No. You literally said this bitch gets a. Uh, you didn't say bitch. We're, we're still. We're still. No, playing. we're not doing it anymore. Well, you don't get to decide where that. We have an arbiter, Jacob. You get to decide. Well, we, we, we all decided when it started. We all decided together. So we, we have an arbiter. We, we, we all decided. No, 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 no. For we, the game to be fair, we can't be making the rules. No, we decided when it starts, so we decide when it ends. In order for this game to be fair, you and I can't make the rules. We have we, to have an outside arbiter. We made the rules to start. We and Jacob agreed. To, so the question is: Is it done? We, the game is done. All right, yeah, yeah, the game is done, bitch. <laughs> I, I think we can ask the fans to vote. Yeah, y'all vote. Who was nicer? Yeah, I like that, Jacob. Thank you. Who was nicer and who was not? I mean, you called me out my name a few times, and you did some things that were mm. like what? I can't think of them right I don't now. Remember. That's you every time. I that don't is remember. you. Every time you go to this podcast, I'm like, "What do I do? I don't, re- I don't remember anything you did, but I, I, I remember." Well, you know, like I've that. said this many times. If you paid attention to me on this podcast, bad. I have that memory, and I don't necessarily remember actual events, but I do remember my feelings. And I remember feeling that you were disobeying the, ro- the, 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 the rules, <laughs> the laws, the rules. I remember how you made me feel a couple of times, and it was mean. I was not being mean to you. Okay, I think I may have been doing a little bit better at this game than you. You which, have such smooth skin. Look at how smooth. Do you shave your chest at all? No, right? Yeah, that's true. That is crazy. I just don't grow out of hair. Bitch, if you pull this sweater down. I'm more hairless than your fucking cat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fucking. You call my cat a fucking cat. The game's over. Well, we, we, y'all can yes, get them I can be mean to your cat. <laughs> well, you know what? I mean, I think I won this game, but we'll, 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 let, the, the, we'll let them decide. Well, have a good night. I love you so much. I love you too. Now it's uh, making it's hard to be. You know what? Pride's gonna be your downfall, bitch. Pride (laughs) is gonna be your downfall. (laughs) Goodbye, everybody.